As I'm falling, I said, what have I just done? I don't want to die. God, please save me. Hit the water. Then you're coming big then I, down. Then I, then I come up. I'm bobbing up and down in the water, and I cannot stay afloat. How cold is the water? What's the temperature? Oh, oh, uh, 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 hypothermic water. If, if, if you, if 60, you, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I know that if you're in that water past 15 minutes, you're going to die. My mother committed suicide in the water. And uh, yes. it was about eight minutes before you. you, you oh, eight minutes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And but it wasn't the same water. She was a little farther up north. Okay. So, so, so this was in, in, in under the Golden Gate Bridge. If you're, if you're in there 15 minutes or more, you're not going to live. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, at, at that time of the year. It right. was September 2000. And you know, uh, you can't move your legs. You can't feel your legs. You can't feel my legs. Can't and, feel and, your legs. And, and so, so I'm bobbing down. I'm swallowing salt water. I'm spitting it out. I'm coming up, going down, spitting it out. But then I go down and I can't, I can't continue to come back up mm -hmm. i'm getting really tired mm -hmm. having a violent asthma attack about exercise mm -hmm. induced asthma since kindergarten so i can't I, I i keep going down further and something happens something begins to circle beneath me something large and very slimy and very very alive i remember thinking to myself you gotta be kidding me i didn't die off the golden gate bridge and a shark is going to eat me <laughs> <Are you sure? laughs> <laughs> and I took my right arm, which was wrenched, like like moving it past here was mm -hmm. really painful. And I'm just I'm just going like this, like no, don't eat me, don't eat me, please don't bite me. But it's not, you know, you, you, a shark's hide is tough and like mm -hmm. sandpaper. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know that that what I was hitting was very slippery. So it clearly wasn't a shark, but I had no idea. Mm -hmm. So I'm freaking out and I'm punching this thing, but it won't go away. And it just circles faster and faster, faster and faster. And no longer am I waiting in the water to stay afloat. I'm lying on top of my back being kept afloat by this creature. Thinking to myself, this is one hell of a nice shark. And right then and there, I named him Herbert. Oh. And Herbert is right here. This is Herbert. And he was a sea lion. He was a sea lion. And I know he was a sea lion because, uh, because a man named Morgan McWard, who had seen me on TV, had wrote into ABC, and he wrote and he said, Kevin, I'm so very glad you're alive. I was standing less than two feet away from you when you jumped. It's haunted me until this day because no one would tell me whether you lived or died. By the way, Kevin, there was no shark like you mentioned on the show, but there was a sea lion, and the people above looking down believed it to be keeping your body afloat until the Coast Guard boat arrived behind you. I call that a miracle. <laughs>